Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you today. This week's thought focuses on some familiar words from 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God. In these 17 words are laid out the practices for us as Christians. Paul reminds the Thessalonians and us that a Christian's life should be marked by rejoicing, prayer, and thanksgiving. We rejoice if for no other reason that God loves us and sent his Son to save us from our sins and to give us life everlasting. We rejoice because our Creator loves, redeems us, and provides us. We rejoice because all good comes from our Heavenly Father. We pray because we know that God hears us and answers our prayers. We pray because we seek what is best for us and we look to God for guidance, strength, and perseverance. We pray because we follow the lessons taught to us in the Bible and because of Jesus' own example. We give thanks in all circumstances. Now, you know, that's one of those verses that sounds a little bit odd on first blush. But yet, when we think about it, it really does make sense. My sister, who bravely battles pancreatic cancer, reminds me that even in the midst of her toughest days, there was always something to be thankful for. Terry gave thanks for her amazing oncology team, those who brought and continue to bring her meals, those who send her cards and call her, and most importantly, the army of prayer warriors who continue to sustain her with their prayers lifted up on her behalf. She values and knows that we can indeed give thanks in all circumstances. Wesley Church is beginning the Hope for the Future Capital campaign, and this week we begin with Gratitude Sunday. We recognize that this campaign is first and foremost a, a spiritual journey, and it's one that we're embarking on um, with a sense of gratitude. All of us are praying together, Lord, what do you want to do through me? And it only seems to make sense to me that we begin this journey by acknowledging all that God has done for us. This journey begins by giving thanks, by having an attitude of gratitude for all the different ways that God has poured out his blessing into each of our lives and into the life of Wesley Church. And so we begin a spiritual journey with an attitude of gratitude. We begin a journey that says, oh Lord, we are so grateful. We are so thankful for all you have done. Today, as we begin our spiritual journey in this campaign, by sharing how God has blessed us and Wesley Church, I want to live out and, and give my personal testimony and give my personal thanks for what I'm grateful for, for how God has blessed me. And so let me share some things with you. I thank God, and I know that I have been blessed in knowing Jesus as my Lord and Savior, the most precious gift of all. I thank God and, and for the blessing of my loving wife, Dee, and our family. As I get older, I recognize the precious gift of our extended family. I thank God for the blessing of serving as pastor of six different communities up and down the Susquehanna over the last 32 years and all the friends we've made as we've ministered together. I've been blessed with the gift of music as I enjoy singing and playing the bass and sharing the gospel and song and with the Cairo Singers, the pastor's choir that I'm part of. I know that I've been blessed and see the blessing of Wesley Church and its 152-year legacy and the countless souls that have been led to Christ here and how so many have experienced the love of Christ in many, many ways. There's the blessing of the leadership and members who faithfully carry out the ministries of worship, music, discipleship, and service to the congregation 
and community. The blessing of Wesley Church is seen in the resilience of this congregation 50 years ago after a fire destroyed their building. And they purchased this property and constructed their current building. I see the blessings of the many ministries of this congregation that connect and serve our community to include Wesley Preschool, VBS, the Food Box Ministry, Mom to Mom, Men's Breakfast, supporting local uh, other ministries like Join Hands and Do Over Ministries, and so much more. It is through all of these different ministries that lives are touched and transformed, and Wesley Church can be a blessing to others. And often, my friends, as we have tried to bless others, we have found we are blessed in return. So today, these are some of the ways that I've been blessed personally and as part of the Wesley community. You know, I think as we think about all the ways that we're grateful, I hope that in sharing these, it will spur you on in your own thoughts. That you can think about how you too have been blessed. I believe each of us have so much to be grateful for. And it's good from time to time to just pause and give thanks. In fact, I want to challenge you to do just that today. I want to ask you before the day's over, to share with a spouse or a friend and to just sit down together or on by a phone call and talk about how God has blessed you and to share the different things that each of you are grateful for and that we could live out together Paul's admonition simply to give thanks. Amen. Have some things that I um, want to be remindful of. Uh, first of all, don't forget to turn your clocks forward this week. Uh, don't want anybody to be late for church. Um, our Wesley Church, as I have mentioned, is conducting our Hope for the Future Capital Campaign. There's going to be informational gatherings uh, next Sunday, March 20th uh, at 1032 or 6. And you can call or email the church office to sign up. It doesn't seem like uh, we're ready to talk about it, but it is. Uh, uh, we have Easter eggs that will be available in the church lobby uh, starting Sunday. Um, take as many as you're able to uh, fill. Fill them with candy or small toys and uh, ask you to return them by April 3rd. The Easter egg hunt is scheduled for 10 a.m. on April 9th. It's a wonderful uh, opportunity for our church to connect with neighbors uh, and then to welcome them to church. Um, Remember, uh, Easter eggs uh, will be available Sunday in the lobby. We're also collecting items to be sent to the Ukraine. Uh, specifically, we're looking to bring Band-Aids, bandages, gauze, and antiseptic alcohol swabs. Uh, and we're asking them to be delivered by March 20th. As you know, the need is critical. Uh, Mission Central has connections to fly the supplies into Poland, where they will be driven across the border to those in immediate need. It's humbling to think that through Mission Central, um, we are able to uh, take things from Marysville and get them across the ocean and into the hands of those that are in need uh, in the Ukraine. Um, our outreach team will make uh, additional trips to Mission Central as needed, but this first collection will be delivered uh, on March 21st. So please pray and do all you can to support Mission Central in this effort. And finally, uh, Wesley Preschool is accepting applications for next school year. Um, and uh, see the newsletter bulletin or our website, www.wesleyum.org slash preschool for additional information. Well, let's close our time with a word of prayer. Will you pray with me? Let me God, as we have shared this devotion today, it is so humbling to just really consider all the ways that you have blessed us. Help us to never take for granted all that you do on, your, on our behalf. Thank you for all your blessings in each of our lives. And Lord, we do pray for all those impacted uh, in the Ukraine. Lord, um, just care for so many needs. And Lord, we just pray that the world leaders can find a way to restore peace. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.